This is Andy Perua for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by Abbas Baru over Zoom. Abbas, first and foremost, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm good, mate. Obviously, it's good to hear you're doing well yourself. How are you finding life in lockdown at the minute? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's, uh, I think uh, we all got a lot, a lot of time to spend with our families and uh, I had also a lot of time with my family and train also by myself and try to stay fit. But uh, it's enough now. We can go back to work, I think. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see that return a lot sooner um, than later. But with regards to your training during lockdown, what have you been doing? Uh, I run often and uh, I, uh, I went also to a friend's gym. Uh, and train there also and and try to stay fit this is uh, to, to uh, not to have many space to refill and yes I'm trying my best and it's it's, it's working good all. How hard have you pushed yourself during lockdown with regards to training because you know that there's no fights or there was no fight dates um, at the beginning of lockdown up until these past couple of weeks uh, it's been uh, quite difficult because uh, nobody knows uh, how it will go and uh, many questions but, but no answer. I had uh, to calm myself and wait uh, for the answers and also I spent a lot of time uh, pri uh, to fix my private things and uh, to enjoy the private life without boxing and Yes, it's working good odds. I think we uh, just have to uh, be cool and wait for the beginning. We've started to see you know, shows return and we're seeing behind closed doors shows. What have been your thoughts on the early signs and the early shows that have returned? Uh, I think it's okay. I think uh, we need to try the best uh, at the moment now. Uh, and if it means for me also to fight uh, without uh, uh, in lockdown, it will be also okay. We need to do the best and I'm open for everything. What are your thoughts on fighting with no fans there? It's uh, difficult, but it, it has to go this way. I can't say no, you know. If I need to do it, I will do it. But uh, it's not the best thing. It's uh, better with fans. Before lockdown you know, was put into place, what was your plans for this year? How did you see 2020 working out for yourself? Uh, I was waiting for a big fight this year. I uh, told myself and my promotion also work on it. And I think uh, um, lockdown had a uh, put us a bit back now and <clears throat> the first thing is uh, after lockdown is to go back to London to work uh, with the guys over there to uh, become better and better and to get the big fights. I was going to say you obviously train with Adam Booth and you're, you're down in London What's it been like? What the, what were those first? You know, however long you did spend with them before lockdown. What was that experience like? How have you found it? Yeah, I just spent like three or four weeks. Uh, once in Marbella, we went on training camp uh, with uh, Josh Kelly, uh, McConnell, and Harlem Eubank, and uh, it was a, a great company and. Uh, uh, and also work with them with the other teammates and uh, the trainers was also well, uh, well and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it uh, like I said, it was a really good company and uh, it it was a great work. What can I say? What's Adam Booth like as a coach? Uh, he's a really cool guy, and uh, I get really really. Uh, quick uh, connected uh, with him and understand him and uh, and he's really really experienced and uh, in this few uh, in this short time he teach me many things and bring a lot of uh, skills uh, out of myself and uh, I was really uh, impressed and uh, I can't say nothing bad about him. What made you choose Adam as a coach when you changed trainer? 
uh, my team, uh, Team Sawalan, introduced him to me, and uh, then I met him. And after just a couple, just a couple uh, minutes, I just uh, find my way to him, and I, yeah, I felt very comfortable, uh, comfortable with him, and uh, I wanted to stay there and work with him. It will all work well out. I know that you've sparred Josh Kelly as well, Abbas. What was that like? What sparring Josh Kelly like? Uh, it was a good work, I think. Uh, we both uh, uh, can push our, ourselves uh, to the limits, and uh, it was very technical, uh, de- technical and uh, high intense work, and uh, it was helpful, helpful for uh, both of us, and I really enjoyed it. I know last time you fought uh, towards the end of January, defeating Abraham Juarez. Reflect on that fight for me. How would you assess your performance? Uh, I was. Uh, it was good, great performance. I think uh, because I was also preparing myself uh, uh, for this fight. I was alone uh, and trained uh, alone for. Uh, the fight and the preparation was uh, really hard for me because I had no trainer. I needed to push myself to get up and uh, train, and uh, it was uh, it was it worked well out. And yes, I was I was happy with this uh, with this uh, when I won the fight and with this result. And yes, this was it was a great. It's, it's also a great moment for me because I had to look on myself and I was on my own and needed to push myself and now I know I can do it if it comes hard. You fought a couple of former world champions during your career. When you reflect on your experiences against those guys, what do you take from it? From the fight in January? Uh, no, from, from your ex- experiences against past world champions when you fought past world champions. Ah, uh, I, it was a big experience for me also, and because uh, they were more experienced than me, a pro and amateur is a really different different game, and uh, I, I learned a lot uh, in this in those fights, and uh, it was really helpful for me. They was slick, and they got a lot of trick uh, the pull out and. Uh, and it was good for me when I fight those guys because I learn from them and next time I will be better than before. I know you have ambitions to fight for a world title yourself. With that in mind, when do you see yourself moving towards being in a position to challenge for one? Uh, I think with a good preparation, I will be anytime ready for that. And... Uh, I had like nine fights now, and I really figure out how to uh, fight as a pro. And I think uh, with a good preparation, I will be in two fights. I can fight for the world title, and I hope uh, it will work this way. What do you make of the current world champions at Super World Tour? Nobody has really put their stamp on the division. There was a lot of fights where. Nobody held on to a belt for a long time over recent times. What do you make of the, the world scene at Super Welterweight? I think uh, this is a good opportunity for me also because uh, when I'm ready for that, I want uh, to uh, be a champion and to stay a champion. And uh, nobody is it at the time. And uh, it's a, a goal for me to uh, be a champion and stay a champion. And yes, I, it's a uh, like I say, it's a good opportunity for me. You've got uh, Rosario, Charlo and Teixeira who hold the world titles. In your opinion, who's the toughest or the best out of those guys? In European, uh, in my world class, honestly, I, I didn't uh, look at much at, at, uh, at the top right now. Uh, I, I just uh, figure out from, the, from fight to fight, you know, and... Uh, if uh, somebody comes my way, I will uh, take my time to look at him. But at the time, uh, I don't much focus on the other fighters or at the top or something like this. Uh, I focus on myself to uh, 
pull out uh, my my best uh, perform every time or to uh, become better. And uh, I think when I reach reach my limit, uh, uh, nobody uh, will stop me and uh, it will be difficult. And so I work on myself. And when it's time to to, to look on the opponent, I will do it. Abbas, before you go, I just want to get your thoughts on a couple of fights that could happen at Super Welterweight. Um, Cal Brook versus Liam Smith was previously spoken about. If we saw that fight, how do you think it would go? Against who? Uh, Cal Brook versus Liam Smith. Yeah. I don't really know. <laughs> I, I don't really know. Uh, I don't uh, really uh, look much about it, but uh, I hope uh, the best one will win. <laughs> That's fine, Abbas. I will leave it there then, and I will leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. Before you go, what would you like to say to everyone who watches our interview? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the interview. If you want to see more from me, follow on my Instagram, Abbas Barao, and have a nice day. Abbas, thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you, man.